This is Lakshita. I like predicting outcomes of major events using data. Our team did a project on estimating the medal tally at Commonwealth Games and it was really fun. Boglesa told me that you predict Oscar and Nobel winners very accurately year after year. So how do you do it? Thank you Lakshita for your question. This is one of my private passions about predicting future winners for certain kinds of contests. Let me explain. Let me go back to the question about games. So when you think about global games or games where different countries participate, what do you think is the biggest predictor of how many medals, especially on a per capita basis, each country is going to win? The answer is simple. It's the GDP per capita. The wealthier you are as a country, on the average, you will win more medals. And if you look at the data, for example, for the Olympics, we have a wealth of data over a long period of time. That is the single biggest predictor. Now for Winning Olympic medals, there are other factors that affect too. For example, we do know that if you have a home team, then that gives the athletes of that home team a bigger boost. Mainly through the fact that there are other people out there to cheer them on. Now, <clears throat> the other big factor is what we call <clears throat> the ex-Soviet sphere factor. So Soviet Union and the other countries that were satellites of Soviet Union were very much into sports in order to prove they are superior than the rest of the system. And they went out of the way to prove that and push their athletes to the limits. Of course, the other things that they did was to give them drugs. Now, I have done some predicting thing about Nobel Prizes and Oscars. They are not quite the same thing. Why do I say that? Because Oscars, for example, has a temporal or time limit. So if you are nominated for one particular year, either you win that year or you never win ever again you cannot be winning or not winning one year and the next or the year after. Once the time is gone, that's it. Your time is over. On the other hand, the Nobel Prize is not like that at all. It is more like what we might call a lifetime achievement award. So for example, if you have Dada Sahib Falke Award on the Indian movie business, that is a lifetime achievement award. You don't win for a particular year, you win for your entire lifetime's work. And therefore, when you predict some Nobel Prize, say for this year, that person may not win in that particular year, but they may very well win some other year down the line. Of course, for Nobel Prize to be won, there's one irrefutable or inimmutable condition, and that is you have to be alive. If you are dead, you cannot win a Nobel Prize. So it's not like Bharat Ratna, for example, which you can win even after you are dead. So how does the Oscar thing work? What you really need to know is if you like a movie, and you say, ah, I like this movie and I think this is a great movie and therefore it's going to win an award. That's not how the way you should think about it because the Oscars are won not by what you or I think, but the members of the Academy, Academy which in the US and now in other countries too, who are members, they alone have the right to vote for it. So 
if I am voting for one person, then I need to figure out what would I think that the Academy members would think about this particular movie. So you are not guessing about yourself, you're guessing about somebody else what they're guessing. And that is a much more complicated issue. So in my case, I do ask around, I know a few people, I do ask them around to tell me what they think about this particular movie or that particular movie, or what they think about this particular category or that particular category. So they tell me about their opinion. So I have a little more information than what a person in the street would have. The other important element is the betting market. The betting market also gives you a very good idea of who's going to win the Nobel Prize. So if they're favorites in the betting market, that's normally a good thing. That doesn't mean the betting market is 100% foolproof, no. Therefore, what you need to do is figure out not just one particular category, but you have to make a choice in many categories. And that's where it gets a little more complicated. So you might want to say, okay, I make 10 guesses and I am not sure whether each one is 100% win, but I can say eight out of 10 would win. And that's how I make my prediction. 